And I'm like, I'm disturbed about it now. We need an answer. I think Marvel needs to address this topic. Because I'm sure that you're not the only one that has found this What if this, you were having surgery? This hole. What if you were having surgery? What if you were open on the table? Yeah, Marvel. <laughs> what if you were open on the table? I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. This is going to haunt you. What if you were dying of cancer? Exactly. <laughs> There's so much. What if you were seconds away from dying? Yeah. You come back for seconds and, and then die? you're gone? And then your family has to mourn you all again? over again. Th- no, because they won't even know you came back at that point. I know. <laughs> what if you're in an airplane? <laughs> the airplane isn't there anymore. You know, that's that's the real one. Like, do you just pop up in the sky or do you pop back into the the airplane? Wherever, well, what if there are other people in the plane? Yes. What do if you, the plane is full? It's at land, max capacity. Do you just land on somebody's lap? What if you were going to the bathroom? And this is how I met your mother. <laughs> oh my god, what if you were going to the bathroom? many people would have actually like it would have like worked out in some way that like they like pop back and um they like pop back like to someone that they then end up with it's like a love story it's like a love like that a, would be adorable like a, <laughs> a rom-com like a rom-com yeah that would be cute that'd be real cute still doesn't uh satiate the the thoughts in my mind of all the bad shit. Hi. Yes. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. That's good. Before we get into this, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> welcome back. It's been a week. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. I was I was so much my hair is a different color. Um, it is. I like it. I had so much in my brain that I was like, I I need to get over there. So I, I, <laughs> I, got, I pulled up to your house. I grabbed my shit. I got out of the car. I go running up to the front door. Locked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was totally right. I was like, and I literally, because I was in such a rush to get to the door, I went, did I run up to the right house? <laughs> I would have been mortified <laughs> if I just ran up to a stranger's house and just tried to open the front door. I mean, but then I looked and I went, this is it. No, this is it. This yeah. is right. Yeah, Lo- Logan totally locked the door. I think he took Geralt out <laughs> and, and when like, he came back, he just... Forced out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. um... So, <sighs> first thing. Yeah. First things first. Yeah. What I've learned this week is... We talked about this before. Gatorade. Yeah. Brian's favorite Gatorade flavor is orange. What a psychopath. So, you know, we're getting a divorce now. So- <laughs> <laughs> Do I get you? <laughs> I'm taking you. I'm not taking him. <laughs> we were in Sam's Club and we were walking and I was like, look, they have Frost. They have the Frost collection it's the one that Where everybody loves the blues. the blues yeah and i was like this is the greatest one and he goes no, i'd rather it just be one just one of them like a whole pack of just one color and he goes like a whole pack of orange and i turned around and went what, what? and he goes yeah orange is my favorite flavor and i was like i literally just had a conversation with natalie about this how people who like orange flavored gatorade I, I can't trust. And he goes, I guess you can't trust me then because orange is my favorite flavor. And then this brings me back to that conversation we had when we were trick-or-treating. Yeah. And it was about the starbursts. <clears throat> yes. And how I like the yellow starbursts. Yes. And I think you're a psychopath for it. Because I like the lemon. Yeah. And then there was something else too. It wasn't just the starbursts. We were talking about Jolly Ranchers. And I think, I think peppermint 
patties. Yeah, York, York peppermint York patties. Pepper, I hate them. I despise yes. peppermint patties. And you guys got on my ass about the the, the yellow starburst. Yes. And, and the peppermint, York patties. peppermint patties. While this dick is out there like an orange Gatorade. Gatorade. Does he also like the grape and cherry Jolly Ranchers? Because if he does, only the spawn of Satan like those. I have to ask him. I had a thing for like Jolly Ranchers while I was pregnant. Jolly Ranchers are great. I love the watermelon ones. I love the grape ones. And blue ras- <coughs> blue raspberry will always the be apple. the shit. Yeah, the green, the green apple. The green They're apple great. Was great. The cherry is disgusting. It tastes like medicine. And so is the grape. I hate medicinal flavored things. But see, it's weird as I like that, <clears throat> that grape medicine. See, but I feel like that's... I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of different. Like, it, it depends on what it is. I hate artificial grape flavoring. It's yeah. just not... It's so fakey to me. And I... thinking there's... I, uh... Because there's a th- strap in here. I keep thinking that this one little piece of hair is, is the strap. strap. And I'm like, why is that keep coming? It's my hair. Um, I just lost my train of thought. <coughs> <coughs> sure. Oh, God. Oh. That's you know, not, are you okay? This is how I've been all day today. Great. Very nasally. Yeah. Sneezing constantly. It's, it's like, like I have allergies. Weird. Because this week decided to go from like 60 degrees back down to 20 degrees, have a snowstorm, and then be warm again the next day. And get, we're going to have another snowstorm tonight. Yeah. I don't so, know what's going on. It needs to chill. Yeah. So then my sinuses are like confused. They're freaking out. And they're driving me insane. Yeah. They're freaking out. Um. Yeah. I just, I hate artificial grape mm-hmm. flavored things i hate the cherry flavored things the they're they're so medicinal but i love dr pepper and a lot of people say that dr pepper tastes like a medicinal like it reminds them of medicine so they don't like it yeah i always thought that that was weird it doesn't remind me of medicine it doesn't remind me of medicine no but i I love it apparently it's got 23 flavors in it though i mean yeah (laughs) You ever go to, like, the gas station at, like, a Wawa or something, and you go to the soda fountain, and you're just, like, clicking every <laughs> single... Oh, yes. <laughs> you're making cocktails. I was, like, as a child. <laughs> yeah. She'd do that as an adult, but with, like, in Wawa, with, like, the yeah. cappuccino machine. she like, just go from one to <laughs> the does that. Really? Yes. <laughs> she's, like, ooh, French, a little French vanilla, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like, she's got a whole, a whole thing. I used yeah. to do that with the uh, icy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the best. Yes. And they, th- with that, they don't mix, so it's just no, stacked so on top of it. layers and layers. <laughs> you go from one flavor to the next. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Throwback. Yeah. What else you got? Yes. What, what else yes. happened this week? So, um, the other thing that happened this week is, uh, I'll set the topic, Marvel. Okay. 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 Marvel. Yes. Right. You watch. I don't know if you've watched the the Marvels. Yeah. No. Okay. So like in the Marvels movie, they discuss um, how Monica. This is it's in a whole bunch of other ones. How Monica blipped. Her mom is in the hospital dying. When she came back. Her mom was gone. Her mom had passed away while she was blipped. Yeah. Okay. So they they were discussing that. And then my brain decided to take over and go, what happened if you were dying and you blipped? When you come, are you still dying when you come back? So your entire family mourns the fact that you blipped and then you come back and you die again? <laughs> there's more <laughs> there's more my brain went on a <laughs> what yes because <laughs> <You know what? laughs> like no time has passed for you i mean time has passed for everybody else but no time has passed for you so like you're laying in a hospital bed you're laying in a hospital bed dying you blip you come back you come back do you just Pop back in. What if somebody's in that bed? You just pop back on top of that person. There's so much. I've had so 
many plot holes in this? What happens? <laughs> we know all the people that were on a plane. We know everybody that was on a plane. <laughs> Do you pop back inside of the plane? No. Just you in, in the air. Pop back in the air. <laughs> this is what happened this week. And then like, and then I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I started thinking about other things. Oh my and god. What happens if you're walking across the street? And then <laughs> you butt butt back. Car. Like, <laughs> I was on a boat. And then I'm just in the middle of the ocean. Yes. Like, that's, oh my god. The yeah, they never. What happens if you like ride a bike? <laughs> they never. Because the bike doesn't go away with you and come back with you. They never. That's a major plot hole. That is a major marvel. Wait. I need an answer. This, can you please address this? This killed my brain for the entire week. And this is all I could think about after. So the rest of that movie from that point on, I was just like, but what happens if, what if you did this? What if you were here? <laughs> the whole what if you, what whole if you were having sex? <laughs> Awful. You would just flip like, <laughs> right before you <laughs> orgasm. Oh, you that having sucks. Sex in a hotel. In a hotel. You blipped. <laughs> you come back, and there's somebody in that hotel room. You're not clothed. <laughs> there's a lot of problems. Wait, wait. You blipped, but the person you were with didn't. <laughs> just that bad. They just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you're just sitting there just you know waiting for it it's right there and then just gone <laughs> what the fuck? oh my god you know how they all like turn into ash yeah i wonder if there's anybody that was like doing something and they're like they're like i just breathed in this person <laughs> ew yeah there's so many there's so many plot holes in how they brought nobody questioned it. Nobody questioned anything. Cause they showed like Yelena coming back and she was like back in the bathroom that she was in when she left, but they didn't show the weird things like on a plane. Or like in a, in some kind of stressful situation. Cause like so like Monica blip, she like blipped out of the chair. Next to a hospital bed. When she came back, that hospital bed was empty. And she was back in the chair. What if somebody was sitting in that chair? Do you blip on top of that person? I just... There's no way just conveniently that all these scenarios where people came back, they came back in a place that was like no one was standing at the time that they disappeared. I'm going to need an answer. This is going to keep me up at night. Right? Did we set a timer? No. We did not. Of course we didn't. My phone is the one that's recording. I just thought about that. Oh, it, it, it's down there. Oh, oh cool. Cool. Yeah. All We're right. good. We're good. Hey. Um, how have you made it this week with that? Is it's, that's it's just been in my head. It's also been a very busy week. I've been playing catch up at work, so I haven't had a lot of time to think. Oh, so aside from yeah, okay, that's been helping. Wow, that yeah, that honest to god is gonna drive me absolute. Now that's all I'm gonna think about. I, what gets me the most is like thinking about like people who might have been on a plane. Yeah, there's got to be worse scenarios too to think of. What if you were like? What if you were? What if you were diving, like, in a shark cage? <laughs> and you just blip back. Not in no a cage. cage. <laughs> no equipment, because I'm sure your equipment doesn't come with you. No, it's sunk down to the bottom. But does it? Because, like, their clothing went with them. So if you're, if so you have something on you, does it? But when, when Bucky... <sighs> He his he dropped his gun. That didn't go with him. I have so 
so many questions. But what I also don't understand <clears throat> is when Bucky and he came back five years later, how the hell did he just have that weapon again? Because no, there's no way they're leaving it in the woods for five years. There's just so much that doesn't make sense to me. I'm at a loss for words. I, my brain doesn't know how to process <laughs> this information right now. Oh, yes. So, um, another <clears throat> question that I found and I thought, and I thought kind of hard about, um, would you fight your father in his prime for $15 million? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this and I, my first instinct was also yes, but then I thought about it and I went in his prime. I, I mean, like, no one said I had to win. Right. <laughs> I just got to fight him. <laughs> but, yeah. like, yeah. But yes. like, he would kick my yes. ass. <laughs> yes. Do it, Dad. I will split the money with you. Yes. It's $15 million. Yes. And then that made me think about all those <laughs> things where girls are like, would you punch me for a yes. billion dollars? <laughs> and, the, and the husbands and boyfriends are like, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and they're like, really? And they're like, it's a, a billion dollars? A billion dollars. I'd hit you with a car if I knew you wouldn't die for a billion dollars. I saw something earlier this week. It was uh, very similar to that, but it was, would you slap a co-worker for? And she just went, yes. yes. And then they finished it and she it's went, not it's not about the money. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I understand. Yes. yes, I understand. I thought that that was great. Yeah. Really funny. Yes. Love things like yeah. that. Uh-huh. That's, that's awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah, hundred percent. I have another one. I will, I will happily split that money with my dad. Just let's go for it. Let's do it. I have another one. Would one hundred percent kick my ass, but that's okay. You can now see a number above everyone's head. What would you like this metric to display? Ooh. And I started thinking about all the possibilities and numbers that could be over people's head, and that's a lot. Some of them are kind of cryptic. Some of them could be hilarious. I want it to be something good. You know? Because you could be like, the amount of time they have left on this earth. No. Could be like... <laughs> that's boring. <laughs> could be like, <laughs> the number of people they've slept with. Also boring. Yeah. We can do better. Uh, the number <laughs> of shits they've taken in their life. <laughs> Okay. The yeah, amount right. of money in their bank account. <laughs> yeah. The oh, amount God. of money in their could wallet. You, could you imagine, like, you go on a first date and that is the number above your head and people, like, that's the first thing they see. That, that would be interesting. That would be really Their body count, but it's a different kind of body count. You mean their kill count? Yes. <laughs> that one could be fun. What... Oh gosh, what would I it know, it's... to be? There are so many options. But it has to be something super good. Mm-hmm. I think a kill count. A kill count would be good? A just so count. you can see who who has murdered people? Yeah. It just... But we'll make it a competition. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen TikToks <laughs> before that are like that, where it was like... Okay, what's your body count? And she'd be like, ah, oh, four. And they're like, really? And they're talking more. And then she'd be like, oh, you meant how many people I've slept with? And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that would be great. It would be absolutely sick. <laughs> Who's winning this fight? A polar bear versus you and bro with swords. So like you and I with swords versus a polar bear. Who would win? I think it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Not obvious. <laughs> we have some words. Uh, but do we have a skill set as <laughs> with well swords? as the swords? No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Okay. What? what are some unwritten social rules everyone should know? 
Unwritten social rules. Mm -hmm. Manners. You know which one I wish would have stayed? The six feet apart rule. Even after the pandemic, I would just wish people would have stayed six feet apart from each other. (laughs) Yeah. Keep room for Jesus, children! (laughs) I was talking to Brian about... Um... Some song came on, I can't remember what it was, and uh, I was like, oh my god, like, this takes me back to, like, high school and, like, s- like snowball and stuff. I said, where, like, we used to grind on each other, <laughs> grind lines and shit, and, um, <laughs> and he goes, he goes, yeah, we, we weren't allowed to do that shit at my school, and he was like, we had to be apart from each other. I said, yeah, they didn't give two shits no. by the time it hit our grid. Like, there were people pretty much... Fucking, fucking on on, on the dance floor. floor. Yeah, and they 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 did not care. No, at all. No, it was insane. Yeah, and real gross. Mm-hmm. I remember I got stuck in a grind. I'm gonna call it a grind it's train. Grind. I was calling grind lines. Yeah, well, yeah, but it was like a train because it was everybody was, and I got pulled into it. Yeah, in the middle of it. And there were so many people in said train that I could not move. And I was like, I don't like it. (laughs) It is too close for me. And I kept looking for every opportunity to just scoot on out. It was, it's gross. Like, I don't understand why. Why? Something in my brain just said I should check and make sure that that's recording. I already checked. (laughs) How long has this been recording for? The whole time. (laughs) We were having technical difficulties last week. Speaking of, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use any of that footage. Last week was a shit show (laughs) in this house. (laughs) It started as... It started well. <laughs> it did. I was so excited. I thought that I figured everything out and mm-hmm. everything was going to be great. I figured it out this week. We're good now because I've already practiced <laughs> and put it to use. But I, I, I just, it fell apart last week. Yeah. It was a mess. Quickly. Yeah. It fell apart very quickly. You got uh, <clears throat> anything else that you want to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Hmm? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Would you rather go to jail for one year or go to jail with a Rubik's Cube and you can leave when it's done? The Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I feel like I could figure a Rubik's Cube out. I have. Like, within a week. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have. The, the tism allows me to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can always. No, wait, here's the question. Can I take the stickers off? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say. They, they didn't specify. <laughs> I saw these questions and I was like, I need to ask for these. <laughs> Let's see. These are new. This one was posted three hours ago. That's not as fun. If you trained for a year, would you be able to beat a reindeer? <laughs> At what? I think I think it's like literally beat a reindeer. Oh, <clears throat> training for a year? I know it didn't say that you ha- like didn't have. We don't weapons. know if this is hand to hand combat. We don't know if this is hand to hand or hand to hoof. Hand to hoof combat. Okay. Uh, I think I have more too. Yes, written down. I think so. You think? I mean, you have a year. Yeah, you have a year to train. That's a lot. And and, <coughs> and do recon. <laughs> yeah, I I will stalk reindeer to understand their ways. I will I will Jared Leto that shit and turn into a reindeer, <laughs> just so I have an advantage. The other thing I wanted to bring up and talk about. Have you heard about that pregnant stingray in North Carolina? No. 
So there's a stingray in, North, in one of the aquariums in North Carolina. Okay. That's pregnant. Yeah. There's, there was been no male stingray in her tank with her. What? No male stingray in the tank with her. The only male that has been in that tank with her was a male shark. Yes. So now they're like... What is this pup? I guess it's called a pup. What is this pup going to look like? Is this a <laughs> half shark, <laughs> half stingray? Wait, 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 wait. Are they sure the shark is the father? <laughs> I don't think they know at all. Do we need to this bring Maury one of to the- this aquarium? <laughs> Isn't Maury dead? Didn't Maury die? I don't know. Where was that? No, that was the other one. Springer? Yeah, Jerry Springer died. Oh, that's sad. Maury, Maury's probably still around. Do we need to I bring him to this aquarium? I would find hilarious if they got him involved in the end of this. But, yeah, so they're saying that the only male that was in can't that tank they, with her was a male Can't they do an shark. ultrasound? I guess they, they can't. Why? Either that or, like, they have and it's too, it's too early. Oh. But... Yeah, so there's a pregnant stingray that oh. might be carrying some baby kind of sharks? mix between a baby shark and a baby stingray. I mean... Shark ray. Shark ray. That sounds... Sting arc. <laughs> That's never happened before? I don't know. And, like, what is it... What would it look like? What if it's something... That, like, it already exists, and it's been seen before, but nobody ever knew what it was. I was just trying to picture it in my head. I I can't. <clears throat> like, a stingray. Almost like a... So With I, I the head like of a with, shark. I picture, like, a shark, almost like a flying squirrel of a shark. It's what I think about. <laughs> Where, like, its fins are just bigger. <laughs> yes. You know when they open, they open it, and it's like a. <laughs> 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 oh my god! That's, 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 what, that's what I think. Oh, about. okay. That's well, what I, think I am. Of. I am going to have to keep up with this because I am. I'm yes. invested now. I need to know. Yes. I you you know me. I I love all of those nature documentaries. Is that a Dr Pepper? <laughs> it is a Dr Pepper. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want one? I have a couple in my fridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you know me. I love like nature documentaries and and animals and for a while I wanted to be a marine biologist, but that's too much work. I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was little. Yeah, I did too. I feel like it every, has morphed. Like what I wanted to be has morphed yeah. gradually. At one point I wanted to be a mortician. I still find it very interesting. It's a lot of school, though. It's a lot of school. It's a lot of school, and it's a lot of, like... Well, it's not, like, a lot of school. But, like, you have... There's a lot that goes into it. Like, you have to get, like, an internship. And become, like, a mortuary assistant, which is a game. There's a game called Mortuary Assistant. We would piss ourselves playing it. It might make for some interesting content, though, if we did play it. (laughs) I need to understand why. I just found it very interesting. Just like when, when at our job, then they bring the uh, cadavers in and stuff to scan for things. I always go back and I want to want to see it. Sometimes they're just heads. Sometimes they're just torsos. And they're just pieces of bodies. They're not full bodies. They're just pieces. So it can be like just the legs. Or like just the torso. Just the head. And they scan them for different things. It's all like clinical things. So like sometimes like people had a certain disease or something and they want to, you know, test it more. And so, yeah. Yeah, I understand why they're testing it. What I don't understand is why you're so intrigued by body parts. (laughs) I just find it interesting. Logan's mom is the same way. She was a physical and occupational therapist. Mm Mm-hmm. 
she for her medical field yeah yeah, for her degree she was required to sit in and watch surgeries being performed like occupational surgeries and stuff she absolutely loves it loves watching surgeries be performed yeah she went into very gruesome detail she had hurt her back she essentially broke her back when she was working as a therapist Mm -hmm. and they had to do a surgery where they went in from her stomach and her back all of her internal internal organs were removed from her body and then put back into place for the surgery she uh if i remember correctly wanted them to record it so she could watch it's kind of neat so like part of the part of the thing with like the heads that we like just scanned um a lot of them had like brain cancer <clears throat> so what they're but, like doing... why is it just the head because it would cost a lot of money to transport 16 bodies so they transport 16 heads we had we scanned 16 heads and then the other, so then what they're doing with them, because most of them had some form of brain cancer. So they're testing out, this is where they do these things, because you can't do this on a real, you know, a living person. They're testing out a new surgery that goes in through the nose. So it's least, like, least invasive. And okay. they're not, like, cutting open their skull, skull anymore. It's going up through <clears> the <throat> nose. Interesting. So they, that's what they do, but they need these scans in advance and okay, so yeah. so for the sake of cost, they're decapitating corpses. Well, it's for science. The P- these people donated their Don't, bodies. no, no, don't try to pull that card. They are decapitating corpses. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Because it's cheaper. No, I mean, they're shipping them, like, across the country. To get these scans done and go to different institutes and stuff. I mean, that's what happens when you donate your body to science. Well, I I know. Again, when Logan's mom did her will, I was witness. Mm -hmm. And she is an organ donor. And in her will, she has a form that she had to fill out in front of me saying what she is and is not willing to donate. And oh my God, the things that were on that list... Were yeah, it it was very in depth. Yeah, you can donate thorough. a lot of things. <clears throat> it's basically your whole like your entire ev- anything body. and everything you can donate uh-huh. it. Yeah, yeah. Whether or not they take it though is yeah. Well, it depends different, on right? like how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely crazy. At the time that you die, if like they can one, if they can <clears throat> harvest it because they. Can, it's called harvesting. I know. They can harvest it and it can get to the person it needs to get in time. Because there's I think a time limit to things. It's like three days. I think it's 72 hours. <laughs> yeah, some of them, yeah. If they're it, in it a dep- I think some of it depends on, like, what the body part is, too. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah. But, yeah, a lot Super of these people creepy. have donated their, their bodies of science. And it's the thing, though. Like, these things are what have led to, like, these new surgeries yeah. and... These new, because some of it is also just that they have hardware in them. And they're testing out, like, knee replacements. And right, disc yeah. replacements and things like that. And that's why they do it on cadavers. Yeah. And they, they put them in and then they scan them and they see how they fit. And then they see how they, and that's that's what they do. Yeah. And so we've done x-rays of, like, knees before where it's have to be moving. I mean, they, they literally told me they were, like, one time... A few years ago, they had one where it was an entire torso and a head, and they had to give it breaths and compressions while the scan was happening. And I was like, this is a CT machine. This is radiation. And my coworker was like, hey, they make big big bucks off of this stuff. So... I can imagine. They don't care. Yeah. They went in there and they took that radiation and they... They gave the breaths and the... Because they had to do the squeeze thing. Right. Yeah, the bag. Yeah, yeah. And gave the compressions as the scan was happening. And I was like, for what? And she goes, it just had to do with something about the lungs and something about something else. I needed to see. It was all for research. Interesting. But that's how those things happen. Now, we ha- at one point in time, our machine was down. And they, they have to thaw them because they're frozen. So it, it's like a time span. So like... They have so long for it to thaw, and then they can only have it thawed for so long before they have to freeze it again. 
So they got we got a call. Our machine was down, and my coworker was like, "I'm sorry, like our machine, we can't do anything. Like it's down. Like I, it's we, it's not gonna get back up in time." And she was like, here's a few other places you can call. And the girl was like, I have tried. Nobody will believe me that this is real. Like, I, they all think I'm, I'm like, playing a, a prank on them. Yeah. Now, I asked her, I was like, how did we even get into doing this? And she goes, <clears throat> well, they called and they asked about it. She goes, and my, a girl that used to work there, she worked there for a very long time. Um, she is a funeral director. Oh. On side, yeah, she's a funeral director. So, so she, she knew. Pick up, she picked up the phone. Yeah. Okay. And she got that person. And so she mean it was like, oh, yeah. And like, and she goes, I don't know if we would have thought it was real or not if she wasn't willing to pick up the phone because she knew about all this stuff already. Well, yeah. Like, that's kind of. Because, like, you can have a funeral for somebody. I didn't know that they did that. And that person's body needs to be, you know, for science. So you. And they go off for science. But, yeah. But, they, you know, they, like, obviously, it's, like, with autopsies and stuff, they, like... Yeah. Cut you open, put you back together, but they'll, yeah, they'll, like, I guess, dismember you. This sounds horrible. But, but it is. But, that's, like, that's, that's what the they term. do. Yeah. Um, so that you can be transported easier. And, but in the end, this helps a lot of people. This is how, like... Somebody out there who has a hip replacement or a knee replacement. That thing was tested on a dead body first. Yeah. Like, yeah. whatever brand and model you have was originally tested on a cadaver. Yeah. And, and, and surgically put into a cadaver first. Most of these surgeries all tested on cadavers first. Wow. And if it weren't for these people donating their bodies to science. We wouldn't know stuff, about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, crazy, right? Crazy. Who would have thought? Started with orange Gatorade, ended with dead bodies. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> These are how our brains work. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. Well, I got I got tons of stuff to tell you in part two. Cool. Cool. You got anything else that you want to you want to no, share? No, that, that was all. That was that, all. That was that everything. was a that was a hell of a lot. Uh huh. Yeah, you um, told me. You good. told me to have something prepared. Yes, I did. And Brian said. Brian said. Natalie told me to make sure you have something prepared. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> I went. I have something prepared. I have it prepared all week. I looked at. I was on the phone with him. I think it was uh, on Wednesday, and I was like, "Hey, do you know if your wife has been thinking of topics? I don't want to oh. know if what they are. If she has, I just, you know, I, I don't know if I if have. Only if, you if, knew. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> like, just, just. I know she's got a lot going on. Just remind her. <laughs> and he was like, "I'm on it." <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Cause, and I was like, so in this video, you're going to see me putting my hair up, and the next video, you're going to see that it's just up. <laughs> it's just up. <laughs> but I was just like, uh, uh, j- like just remind her to write it down so she just doesn't forget her her thoughts. Oh, yeah. I yeah. added to that. I basically am just adding to that list. Okay. Um, yeah. And in the one about the blip, yeah, I, I labeled it weird questions I've asked my husband this week. So, and I asked Brian about this, and he was like, what? Uh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what happens? And I'm like, going in about it. And he goes, and he's like, basically like, I haven't thought about it that deep. And I'm like, I'm disturbed about it now. We need an answer. I think Marvel needs to address this topic, because I'm sure that you're not the only one that has found this What if this, you were having surgery? What if you were open on the table? Yeah, Marvel. <laughs> what if you were open on the table? I'm telling you. <laughs> you I know. This is going to haunt you. What if you were dying of cancer? Exactly. <laughs> There's so much. What if you were seconds away from dying? Yeah. You come back for seconds and, and then you die? you're gone? And then your family has to mourn you all again? over again. Th- no, because they won't even know you came back at that point. I know. <laughs> what if you're in an airplane? 
airplane. <laughs> the airplane isn't there anymore. You know, that's that's the real one. Like, do you just pop up in the sky or do you pop back into the the airplane? Wherever, but what if there were other people in the plane? Yes. What do if you, the plane is full? It's at land, max capacity. Do you just land on somebody's lap? What if you were going to the bathroom? And this is how I met your mother. <laughs> oh my god, what if you were going to the bathroom? I wonder how many people would have actually, like, it would have, like, worked out in some way that, like, they, like, pop back and, um, they, like, pop back, like, to someone that they then end up with. It's like a love story. It's like a love. Like that a, would be adorable. Like a, <clears throat> a rom-com. Like a rom-com. Yeah. That would be cute. That'd be real cute. Still doesn't, uh, satiate the, the thoughts in my mind of... All the bad shit. Roller coaster. After five years, it could it could not be there anymore. <laughs> There's just so much. There's, yeah. What about well, we've come full circle? You came home, and one is either not your home anymore, or two, it's gone. That's true. I mean, that actually happened, like, in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like, that was a thing, that, like, people Yeah, I'm, back. I'm pretty sure that happened in Ant-Man, too. Yeah, like, people were blipping back, and, like, their, it, people were in their houses and stuff, and then those people got, like, kicked out, and it was, like, a whole thing. And then there was a group that was, like, oh, the world was better when everything was blipped, and this is where I like to say, you know, Thanos may have been a dick about it, but he, I don't think he was 100% wrong. There might be certain people in this world <laughs> that, I mean, I just had a conversation about this at work, about <laughs> natural selection. <laughs> we were talking about diseases and stuff, and they were, like, in, in like, <clears throat> certain illnesses and, like, problems and genetic problems and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, honestly, I was like, we don't really have natural selection anymore to, like, weed out. No, we don't. That kind of thing. So, yeah, it's just going to get worse. Yeah. With the advances in medicine, it's made it uh-huh. so even those yeah survive. And, yeah. We're just going to keep gonna... going. We need to get to the second one here. We need to say goodbye and then say hello again. Bye. <laughs> Uh, what, what are the, what are, what are the things? Um, stay tuned, uh, tu- uh, my brain was moving faster, or my mouth was moving faster than my brain. Tune in on Wednesday for part two. See where, uh, see where our brains take us. See where our brains take us. <laughs> see where I, this I conversation continues. I've got a lot, uh, a lot to discuss. Okay. So I think it'll be an interesting so, episode. So like. Yeah. Like, subscribe, yep, like, comment. comment, subscribe. If you got uh, any ideas or anything that you want us to talk about, comment down any below. Any weird ass questions that you want our brains to explode on? Yeah, please, feel free. please let us know. Um, once again, book talk. Uh, slacking, slacking. I'll have to tell you about how my TikTok just blew up today. It blew up today. Yes, my Instagram blew up today. Did it? It did. Yeah, okay. we'll we'll have a conversation. And now I feel like I need to turn my notifications off completely. <gasps> They're getting really annoying. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bye. Bye.